Yeah, of course, Red. Wonderful. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Maybe for all of you, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. To the second day of uh, BCAP, uh, biggest interactive exchange uh, knowledge exchange program. As you know, um, our motto is involve your students and empower them. Because yesterday someone asked me uh, what are the topics they missed in the group. I would like to remember you some, um, I cannot see they are rules, but uh, some objectives of our session. Since there are over 90 regi registered students, uh, I decided that each student should have five minutes of intervention on any of the days on any proposed topic. Your intervention can be done in the way you choose. You may make a presentation, a video. You may share with us pictures, exhibitions. You may have a speech. You also may share some links or anything uh, you will like. This time BCAP is different than uh, BCAP 1. Why? Because this time our students will be our trainers and uh, the teachers will be here just as students. And as, as I saw yesterday, our students are very good trainers. Am I right? Yes. Teachers, be ready and pay attention to our students because at the end you have to uh, put questions to them. Um, you may suggest something to them. You may give uh, your um, thoughts about the topic uh, for this day. Each day will be given, as I told you in the group, uh, will be given uh, the chance to present to those who did not present in previous days. In this way, as many students as possible will be able to be actively involved uh, during seven days of the project. Please keep in mind, even if you are a teacher or a student, that we are here not in a classroom, so your answers cannot be wrong. The duration of each session will be 90 minutes daily, and we will accept at random the intervention of each student who is there within uh, the time limit. The most important idea uh, you have to keep in mind is that everything must be with uh, full freedom of expression, of course, by keeping limits of common sense. We want to learn new things together in a different and constructive way and um, in a funny way as well, with funny moments. Our uh, topics are chosen by was chosen by uh, by students in BCAP one at the end, and the topics are as following: the steps taken to go towards the smart city, successful future, uh, future tips and advices, mobile phones choose the best for you, how to increase your confidence while presenting. Things to avoid doing while uh, doing uh, while reaching our goals. What to write in a research paper, and social media awareness, brainstorming. Brainstorming. I hope everything is clear for you. No. And because we have that the motto: empower your students and make them stronger. I would like to start with a short video and I hope you would like it. We know that student choice leads to increased engagement, but student choice is about more than just menu options. It's about empowerment. 
So here are 10 ways to empower your students with choice. Let students choose their own route. Let them decide which strategies they want to use. Let students choose the materials and the resources. Let students choose the topics or themes based upon what they geek out about. Let them ask questions based upon their own sense of wonder. Let students choose the format for their projects. Let them choose the scaffolding. If you provide the tutorials, they can decide when and how to use them. Let them work at their own pace. Let students engage in self-assessment. Let them choose the audience for their creative work. This could be local or global. Let students manage their projects, breaking down tasks and setting deadlines. A little nuance here. Teachers still need to make decisions. They have the expertise and wisdom that students need. But when teachers incorporate choice, students grow into the lifelong learners we know that they can be. If you're looking for more on student choice, visit spencerauthor.com slash student choice and download the free ebook, Getting Started with Student Choice. Okay, <clears throat> I hope you liked the video and I would like to ask you uh, which one from uh, those points was not taken by me when I proposed BK program to you? Can you tell me and suggest also maybe for next program I must take something <laughs> different? I can see uh, hands up. So students are ready to start today. Okay, so let's come back to BCAP 2, the second uh, project, second month of the project. As I told you in the start, there are not only a topic a day. You may take any topic any day at your choice okay so um, i can see uh, rana i can see uh, mohammed i can see maram uh, i can see briona briona and malak i believe uh, malak was not with us yesterday yes so i would like to invite him uh, to present us his topic for today Welcome, Malak. You can start by s tell us something about you. Teacher, can you just uh, open the share button for us? Okay, just a moment. Yes. Yes. Try. Can you share now? Yes, just a moment. Okay. There is no sound. No sound. Can you share the sound as well? You have uh, three dots in the uh, right side. The when you share. I don't okay. think it's available to share from uh, sound. In the phone, phone there is no sound. You, you have three, three dots there. Click on in them. The no, I can't see. Maybe you can send it in a group and we can help you. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is from the phone. Can you send on the group? And I will share from my side. Teacher, the sound isn't appearing for you. No, no, there is no sound. Uh, can I send my video to the group? Yes, and, uh, yes, you please. Can share it mm -hmm. Okay, please. And uh, till she share uh, the link, let's give the opportunity to Aditya Kauhan. Welcome, Aditya. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So before I start, I would like to introduce myself. Please. My name is Aditya Chauhan and I am from Bluebells Model School. Today, the topic which I am covering is smart uh, mobile phones, the best for you. So I am sharing my screen. Ma'am, is my screen visible? Yes, it's visible. Okay. So first of all, as we all know what are mobile phones, mobile phones are used for a variety of purposes, such as keeping in touch with family members, for conducting business, and in order to have access to a telephone in the event of an emergency or to make calls to someone and etc. I am not going deep in this as I think as we all know about this very properly. So now I am going to talk about the bone bane condition of mobile phones. Are mobile phones boon? Yes, mobile phones are boon because they help us in making calls to our friends or relatives to search information on any specific topic, to play games, to discover new things, to take photos and etc. Hence, mobile phones are beneficial in our life. But so, mobile phones are boon, but they are as well as bane. Mobile phones can be boon or bane. They can be bane because the kids' generation are becoming more and more addictive to mobile phones by playing more and more games for a longer period of time. And as we all know that by this, our eyes become more and more weaker. But there are some solutions also for the same. They are as follows. There are many solutions for the same. Instead of playing games on phones, we should go outside and play outdoor games and indoor games too. We should spend our time with the family members. But that does not mean that we should never use mobile phone. We should do it, but the thing is that we have to do in a, we have to reduce our screen hours. That is caused by looking and spending more and more time to mobile phones. So now I'm going to tell you some amazing facts on mobile phones. On April 3, 1973, Martin Cooper, a Motorola researcher and executive, made the first mobile telephone call from handheld subscriber equipment, placing a call to Dr. Joel S. Ingle of Bell Labs. Your mobile is more powerful than a spaceship. Back in 2012, Apple sold more than 340,000 iPhones per day. Your mobile phone has more computing power than the computer used for the Apollo 11 moon landing. The best for you. So uh, I hope you have learned about the boon wind condition of the mobile phones. I think all mobile phones are best for us. But the thing is that we are not the best for it. Do you know that some kids, they spend all their time in mobile phones and waste their time? They are not using their phones, but misusing it. The phones should not control us, but we should control the phones. This means that we should not be addictive to the phones and smartphones. If you're playing games, then you can play at least for 10 to 15 minutes a day. Conclusion. So the conclusion is that don't be addictive to phones play games in mobile phones for at least 10 to 15 per day. And remember that don't misuse it. You have to use it. So I hope this may be helpful for you. And now you remember that you have to only choose the best for you or the worst for you. Thank you. 
very nice presentation, Aditya. But I would ask you, can you just keep uh, uh, um, your phone in her, in the hand only for 10, 15, 15 minutes or 10, 15 hours in a day? I believe 10, 15 hours because I have a son. He is 14 years old. And I know what means mobile phone for you guys. Mom, Thank Adit, you for your I presentation. Like please, please, Deputy. Ma'am, Adit, for Adit, I really want to say he is a brilliant kid. And he he was like so excited for this presentation and keep on telling me, Ma'am, I really want to do this. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, she empowered us today with uh, new knowledge about mobile phone. Thank you. Thank you once again. Yeah. I would share now, uh, let me see, because I have uh, videos in uh, WhatsApp. In the world of future trading, success can mean, can mean significant profits. In the world of future trading, success can mean significant profits. But mistakes can be extremely costly that's why it's so important to have a strategy before you start trading here are some tips and advices for how to proceed if you're a seasoned futures trader you know that variance is part of the game everyone no matter in the world of why. future trading yeah. success oh, it's on the top left corner there's usually those who seek continual improvement and assesses their progress at regular intervals. First, to be intentional. Research has shown that intention beats motivation. What often happens is that we create short, medium and long-term goals without adding the when and the how. Like, I'll change my career. I'll increase my salary. I'll have a better work-life balance. Whoever motivated you feel to take action on your goals if they are worded like this. They are too bug and open-ended without the when and the how there is no catalyst for action. The simple way to be more intentional is to fill out the sentence. I will enter your behavior at specific time in specific location. For example, I will spend 20 minutes every lunch time at my desk scanning recruitment types. The next step is to show appreciation. Showing appreciation draws people to you and improves their perception of you as a person and as a colleague. If you put a lot of time into a task for someone else and receive no thanks for it, then you're less likely to help again in the future. If, on the other hand, you complete a task and receive a genuine thank you from that person, then you'll be happy to assist again if asked. Another tip is to explore key questions about the future you want. Is the life you see for yourself one where you aren't living for others? Why do you want a change? What could be a manageable change that can be made pretty much immediately? Asking a question like this can help you get to know yourself better and they also get you to rationalize your thoughts instead of blindly dreaming. The more difficult the questions are to answer, the more likely they are to... Is the second one the same? Or I have to... Likely they are to be uh, completely important. Important. Com okay. After that, stop thinking of the past and focus on the present and future. This will assimilate into your mind and help you to persevere towards your dream. Dwelling on things past is a hindrance when you attempt to move forward. Being successful is all about going forward, developing and letting things go to make it all possible. Letting go of the past will make you more present with yourself. 
you may feel like you're moving forward but if you're mentally stuck elsewhere then your mind is unable to sort out what is currently happening and what needs to happen what happened has happened and what needs to happen should be thought about now next you have to change your attitude when working having the right attitude not only puts you in the right frame of mind succeed yourself but will also encourage those around you to do the same the right attitude can differ dependent upon the environment you're in while at work but will usually manifest itself as one of the following positivity optimism creativity happiness encouragement motivation it's easy to see how displaying any of these traits can benefit your career and well-being but also how you'll be a positive influence on those around you as we saw together there are many tips and advices that can lead for a successful future some of these tips are so easy and simple so why don't we work with them we have to work with these tips we have to follow these advices we will be successful in the future hard work pays wonderful you have so uh, so much confidence that uh, you can be a very good trainer in a day you know Wonderful. Congratulations for uh, for your uh, you. way you find for this presentation. Thank you. And uh, before to give the floor to someone else, I have another video. Let me see. From uh, there are two videos, Muhammad, from Rana. Yes. Uh, no, no, from uh, Ruba Derbas. Ruba, Ruba. Uh, one video, Where? but uh, you can't. You couldn't send it together. Okay, where is Ruba? Hi, teacher. Ruba, are you there? Hi. Yeah. Ah, you cannot share from your side. No. Can you please share them after uh, presenting? So not now? No, when I finish presenting. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, I want to share a PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. You have the right. Okay. Can you see it? Not yet. What's about now? No, I cannot see. Um, okay, I'll uh, speak without okay. sharing it. Okay. First of all, I want to talk about successful future tips and advices. The definition of success is your individual definition of what success is may vary. Many might define it as being fulfilled, happy, safe, healthy, and loved. It's the ability to reach your goals in life, whatever those goals might be. Success isn't just important. It's vital and should never be reduced to anything less than vital. Success is valuable, important, and necessary for survival. As it said, you don't pay the price of success, you enjoy the benefits of it. Now, why is success important? First of all, for inner harmony. Achievement of those goals that offer inner harmony should usually be what matters to you. Inner harmony doesn't come as easily as money or even fame. On the contrary, it doesn't even take a very complex route to reach it. A simple ordeal that has benefited someone in need and not the self can give you mental satisfaction and fill your mind with peace. Also, the role of challenges. Challenges and troubles are an integral part of an individual's life. The way you perceive them and your modus of 
to resolve mm -hmm. them find success. It's often difficult to handle challenges in a confused state of mind. When you are successful and have observed inner peace, you are in a better mind to deal with the challenges and remove them effectively. Finally, role models. Such successful people who are known to maintain a balance between inner harmony and external materialistic achievements lead, lead a fulfilled life. They become real life examples to others who, who want to emulate them. Role models as they get to be gold, it's a status that is acquired naturally. Now, the habits that will help you to become a successful person. First, you should visualize your success. Think about the future you want and visualize it. Successful people focus on their vision of success and constantly have to aim and graft for. Be positive, keep focused, be the master of your own success. Also, you should seek passion. It's hard to move forward and be successful. If you are not remotely passionate about what you are doing, every day can become a drag. You don't have to love your job, but you should be passionate about making it work. Seek passion in all you do. Finally, you should believe. If you don't believe in yourself, you have one to give up or fail. Self-confidence and action will help you to push on and make a success of your life. Do you believe that you are able to do it? Do you believe that you are able to make, to make it come true? Start your journey to success by first believing that you are able to. Thank you. Now, please uh, share the motivational video. Okay. I'm sorry. You'll achieve it. You must believe in yourself. Beliefs control results because you will never take action towards something. A belief is a feeling. Life. You need to get certain you will achieve it. You must believe in yourself. Beliefs control results because you will never take action towards something you don't believe is possible. You can have all the education in the world. It doesn't matter. If you don't believe you can do it, you will never get it. Do you think Jordan could have become the greatest if he didn't believe in himself? Not a chance. He would have quit when things got hard. He would have quit when he was cut from his high school basketball team. You think Serena would be the greatest female tennis player in history without belief? Not a chance. These great athletes, great entrepreneurs, great human beings are great because they believe in themselves. They believe when no one else does. They believe when they are down. They believe when they are at rock bottom. This is my dream, and I will succeed. Maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. There is no doubt in my mind. This goal I have, this dream I have, I will get it. I will. Wow, yes, you must believe in yourself and you must work hard in order to achieve your goals in life. 
It's a wonderful video. Thank you very much for um, the presentation, which also was very, very good. Um, I can see how our students uh, do research and uh, came here well prepared. Congratulations, guys. Wonderful. Uh, someone Thank asked you. me if she, he can be the next. I I would give the yes, permission. I to... was the one. Yes, Briona. Welcome. So should I start it with? Please. Yeah, sure. Just I'll just share my screen. Uh, I really hope it is visible. Is it? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'll just continue with my presentation. So uh, today's my today's topic is cyber safety. And let's just go ahead. I would start with my brief introduction. And I... Yeah, so I'm grade 11 science student. I'm known for the constructive use of technology with academic excellence in online classes. I got felicitated by Honorable uh, Chief Minister of our state and wow. I served as a youth speaker for Akashwani, that is radio, for spreading awareness on cyber safety amongst youth. I'm IBM Quantum Computing Certified Student. I'm winner of National Targethon 2021, as well as Microsoft Office Specialist, was invited at Raj Bhavan as child speaker to share insights on my successful pandemic journey. And I'm winner of the big competition at state level as well. Overall, I'm a young speaker and a passionate student to use technology and education for the benefit of the community. Greetings from India. Have you heard the word cyber safety? You know what does it mean? Let me explain it to you briefly. Usage of internet. We all know about the increasing usage of internet, especially after the COVID pandemic. Starting from attending online classes to buying things, transacting money, etc. Everything is getting online with the vast use of internet. And these are all directly related to cyber threats and cyber crimes. You know how? Let me explain it to you. Cyber crimes. Cybercrime is a malicious act that seeks to damage data, steal data, or disrupt the digital life of the users. Cyber attacks include threats like computer viruses, data breaches, and denial of service, that is, QS attacks. A cybercrime is something that can happen with individual as well as the government or institutions. Types of cybercrimes. First type is online gaming. We all know that today's generation are very much involved in online gaming. When you install a game, they ask for certain permissions like camera and microphone permissions and you allow them because you want to play the game. They misuse those to commit the cyber crime. I'll explain it to you further. Uh, the second one is cyber stalking. That is using your personal information and your current location. Some cyber stalkers follow you and they either physically or mentally abuse you. The third type is password or account hacking. Once password is hacked, they share irrelevant posts from your account or get your personal information. So let me move ahead. What is cyber safety? The term cyber safety means protection against dangerous cyber threats and cyber attacks. It refers to the measures promoting the safe usage of internet. How to stay cyber safe? First is online gaming. So when you are playing a game, they would ask you permission. But if you think that they are not necessarily to be allowed, you can avoid giving unnecessary permissions like camera and microphone. If uh, you are like using social media, of course, we all know that uh, whether it is youth or we talk about elders, all use social media. So while using social media, there are many cases where uh, cyber stalking uh, happens or it might be your, like your personal information has been shared to many people and you also don't know about it. So for that, you need to avoid sharing your personal information as well as private photos, social media. Do not share details such as your current location or address, etc. on social media posts. Cyberbullying. It's a very important topic. Recently, there are, like, there are many cases, more than 1,000 cases of cyberbullying every day. So I must tell you that to stay, uh, stay safe from cyberbullying, just convey the incident to your parent or guardian or any elder around you 
you feel safe to share stay away from such people who uh, bully you and be strong to fight against cyberbullying it is very important to fight against it the fourth one is cyber stalking now you would think what is cyber stalking cyber stalking is when you share a social media post that and when you check in somewhere like for example i checked in somewhere and i just uh, put up a post that i have checked in here there are few cyber stalkers who follow your post that where are you and they follow you yourself and they uh, just physically or either mentally abuse you there so just stay away from the gadgets if you are facing cyber stalking issue stay away from the gadgets and report as early as possible to the cyber police of your region change the location of yourself and just move away from the place you have checked in so the fifth one is password or account hacking it's very uh, it's very common amongst uh, the youth that many uh, children in just uh, fun they just uh, hack the pa- password or account and they just misuse it but it's a very big cyber crime either uh, if you are if your password or account is hacked either lock your account or immediately change the passwords and report it to the cyber branch your password need not be your name or your relative's name or your uh, birth date but it should be something that is a strong password that uses few special characters so let's uh, go with the examples i would like to give you few examples for this if you talk about online gaming uh, many of you might be knowing about blue whale so blue whale challenge was something where uh, a user gets like that challenge gets uh, installed automatically on your phone and it gives you various tasks to be followed so you have to follow tasks and it at the end it led to the final task to die to make a, you uh, to do a suicide so it was very harmful to uh, the youths and the generation so such games also come uh, so for that thing do have to always uh, get con- like be connected with your parents just stay connected with them and just uh, convey your thing to them so they will manage up with the thing uh, second example i would give you for is for the cyber stalking um, it, it's a character she was her name was via and she was like very uh, active on her social media account once she went to some place and she just checked in and uh, she put up a post that i'm here and once uh, one there was a boy kiran who was cyber stalk uh, ria and he went to that place where she had checked in and when he found that there was no one around he physically abused her so that was a like very serious case so in such cases uh, you have to be very very uh, alarmed and very active that you have to just uh, immediately uh, connect to the cyber branch cyber police and there is a video there i would like to play it there is no sound my dear uh Okay, I'll just share my screen again with the sound. I really hope now it will be audible. Is it? IBM Quantum Computing Certified Student. Yes. And yes. I'm August 2021 and student of 11th Sanjeev School Lala Hall Ahmedabad. Today, I would like to debate on the topic because of increasing cyber attack cyber security not only secures our information and system from the uh, virus attacks but also helps in securing privacy and integrity of various countries india is now moving towards the top and secures the 11th uh, attacks in cyber threats uh, which makes the cyber cyber attackers use numerous uh, softwares and malwares to commit cyber crimes other ways to commit cyber crime are uh, economic fraud which destabilizes the economy of a country extracting money and attacking the transaction systems efficient as well as the data alteration and misuse of social media to create intolerance and violence in the society all these i will just uh, move ahead with a demo i would like to show one demo cyber security is protecting data programs networks and other users 
So I will see you here. Yeah. So before the slide, I would just like to show a demo. I would uh, share my screen from another device, and I would show you uh, social media techniques you need to be uh, known with. Um, I hope my screen is visible. Is it? No. I don't know where to where is your screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, no. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is WhatsApp. I've opened WhatsApp. In WhatsApp, you can like put your privacy settings as in your account. You have privacy option. There you go. There are the options like who can see your profile photo. I've selected only my contact, those who I know. Uh, then second is about, then status. I've excluded few contacts, those are strangers, or I have contacted just for a few reference. So I, uh, you can even exclude more. You can share with few people, or you can share with your contacts itself. Then uh, there is one more option at the last. That is this fingerprint lock. In fingerprint lock, when you, uh, like, if your phone is, you missed your phone somewhere, and your phone is lying somewhere, and you don't know where it, uh, it is. And anybody can access your phone. So they can just open up WhatsApp and they can check your information and they can check, check everything. So what you can do is just put up a fingerprint lock. After 30 minutes, I have put up after 30 minutes. So after every 30 minutes, if I open my WhatsApp, it will ask me to put my fingerprint. And if it is safe, then only it will open my WhatsApp, otherwise not. So it will keep your uh, privacy data very uh, like safe. Then I would go to the another thing that is two-step verification. What is two-step verification? Now, if in case you have not uh, put up the fingerprint and your phone is with some stranger, then what it will do is this two-step verification will uh, ask you to enter a PIN, certain PIN. Like, for example, I'm disabling right now. I'm enabling my two-step verification. It will, ask, uh, it will be asking me for some PIN. So I'll be the side telling like that. I'm one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And it will be linking it with uh, my email. Then next and save. So now it has applied settings. So now whenever I will open my WhatsApp, uh, it will ask me a pin. This pin I have to enter, and then only my WhatsApp will be open. So this is how if you uh, like are not aware about few settings, there are very uh, set there are like uh, in facebook also there are settings to keep your information private as well as uh, any social media app you go there are uh, many settings to make your um, all the information uh, private so i will just stop my screen sharing yeah so just a second so yeah. what to say briona <laughs> yeah you give us uh, a, a big lesson today, <laughs> really. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. I would just like to quote it here that the quote for today is use technology and education as a weapon to benefit the community. So let's come together and bring the transformation. And you can even connect to me uh, from my, uh, from Twitter. That is my Twitter ID is Adrit Briona Sangwe. And thank you. I would uh, look forward for your active participation in spreading cyber safety awareness. Thank you so much. Guys, just uh, just not down her uh, Twitter account. Briona Sangvi. Wonderful presentation, really. I'm impressed because uh, I, I told you yesterday that I noticed that some students can prepare better presentation than some teachers sometimes, really. <laughs> really, congratulations. Okay, wonderful let's go presentation, on. I must say, ma'am. Beautiful presentation. Yes, yes, and very, very well prepared. Um, I would like to give the chance to students who didn't present yesterday, first of all, and then to others too. Ranvir Rashi. Hello, and welcome to BCAP. Are you there? Hi, Ranveer. Uh, ma'am wants to talk to uh, Would you like to say something? His, uh, his, yes, uh, ma'am. Please.
Ma'am, I would like to speak on the topic mobile phones. Please, yeah, mobile please go phones, ahead. Please go ahead. Mobile phones are portable telephones to make or receive calls over a radio frequency link. First mobile phone was created by Martin Cooper of Motorola. Since then, mobile phones have developed a long way. Modern mobile phones use Wi-Fi or internet. Without this, sometimes there is problem connecting. But nowadays, SMS and many things have been introduced. Okay, thank you, Ramvir. A good points you raised. Uh, who didn't present yesterday? I don't remember. Can I you present? can, you can, I, Aida, yes, yes, because you was trying yesterday a lot. Please. Okay, can I start now? Yes, you can. Okay, before I start, hello everyone. My name is Aida Khalil, a 10th grade student, and I represent Lebanon from Abbasiyah Official High School. I hope that my work will receive your admiration. It was an honor to meet you all. I wish you all success. So in this presentation, I'm going to talk about the definition of a smart cities, smart city concept, smart city features, some necessary steps to make cities smarter, benefits of a smart infrastructures, and last cities have been ranked among the smartest in the world. So guys, in general, a smart city is a city that uses technology to provide services and solve city problems. A smart city does things like improve transportation and accessibility, improve social services, promote sustainability, and give its citizens a voice. A smart city uses information and communication technology, which is called ICT, to improve operational efficiency, share information with the public, and to provide a better quality of government service. Second, smart city concept. It includes the smart governance and the smart education, smart citizen and the smart technology, smart building, smart mobility, smart infrastructure, smart energy and smart, smart healthcare, and many things more. Smart city features is characterized by smart parking, intelligent transport system, telecare, traffic management, smart grids, smart urban lighting, waste management, smart city maintenance, and smart taxi and digital signals. Here is six necessary steps I have identified to make cities smarter. First, we should determine our starting point. Second, we have to identify our objectives. Third step is to define a set of a project. Fourth to, is to assess the like livelihood of each project imp implementation success and assess the impact of each project. And finally, the last steps is to select the most impact and the promising project. And summary to everything I have talked about, there are benefits of smart infrastructures, like we'll have less commuting time thanks to better mobility solutions, better health through telemedicine and monitoring, more security through data-based crime predictions, intelligent energy networks through automated and optimist energy use. And here is the top 10 smart cities worldwide, New York, Singapore, Amsterdam, Dubai, London, Hong Kong, Copenhagen, Barcelona, Boston, and Chicago. As a last point, guys, don't miss that making our cities smarter is a very, very hot topic and needs a lot of success and work. Thank you all for your attention. Is there any questions or comments? Wow, Aida. Oh my God, uh, empower your students, yes, but uh, today you you empower us as well. Wonderful presentations, wonderful um, speech. You are confident, you get uh, that uh, kind of um, um, leadership in you. Wonderful, congratulations. Thank you so much. 
Okay, who is next? Jethro? Me, me, me. me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mohammed, you. Please. Oh, let's go. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Mohammed Hassan from Lebanon. And uh, today I'll be presenting about successful future. So first I'm gonna show you a video, then uh, we move to the PowerPoint. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, just a minute. It's been loading. <clears throat> Takes a lot of time. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna share the audio from the phone to be clear. This is Shadi, and this is Fadi. They look so different, right? Shadi is so pessimistic. He never had hope in anything. This is Shadi. This is Fadi. They look so different, right? Shadi is so pessimistic. He never had hope in anything. Always thinking that he will fail in anything he does. Moreover, he is so lazy. Sleeps at 2 a.m. and wakes at 12 p.m. Doesn't have a job. Just sitting, eating, and sleeping. He lives with no goal. Doesn't work. Doesn't uh, look forward for anything. Never tasted the flavor of success. He has no plan for his life. More than that, he depends on his parents to stay alive. Depends on them by eating, drinking, and all his chores. His social life is miserable. He has no friends. He never went outside and met anybody. I call this kind of people zombies. So, Shadi is a fruitless person. Don't be like Shadi. Let's move on into Fadi. Fadi is a man that has hope in everything. He finds welfare in, ba in bad things. His smile doesn't leave his face. He tends to have fun in everything, what makes him never tired and never loses perspective. He is an active person, organizes everything in his life, sleeps at 11 p.m. and wakes at 7 a.m. He puts a list of chores for what he will do to keep everything organized and perfect. Fadi is living for a goal. From his childhood, his goal is to be a pilot. And now, he's to, uh, taking all steps to achieve his goal. Fadi, a courageous person that doesn't stop at any, at any obstacle. And even more, these obstacles make them stronger. Learns from every wrong he does. And this is the secret of his success. Last but not least, his social life is perfect. He spreads all the love he has all over his family and friends. And he always says, love is everything. So that Fadi is a successful person. Be like Fadi. This is Fadi. This is Fadi. Okay. Now let's move to the PowerPoint. I hope the video was clear, right? Yes. Just a minute till it open. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. We'll be talking about, of course, successful future. First, you have to know um, that you'll have a long path. So uh, you see this path, uh, this path, it's the way for a future. This is an adventure for the ones who worth it. You're the one who's gonna pass uh, this path. You should prove yourself that you can. So you have to never give up for any problem you face. Second, never think that achieving success is easy because if it is easy, it will be in hands of everybody. Successful and, if you, and failure ones. The way, the way uh, for it is dark, where you will find forks, obstacles, troubles, and problems. But remember, this is normal, and don't, and don't give up. Um, third, learn from every wrong you do, you do, and um, because that will make you wiser and more aware of the situations around you, and more aware of uh, and uh, because just idiots who make the wrong twice. So try, make, and learn. And fourth. Uh, when you achieve your goal, that doesn't mean that it's time for rest all your life. But you should get another goal and work and plan for it. You live once, so make your, uh, your life full of adventures and make it exciting. Second, we'll talk about social life because it's so important for successful future. First, uh, let's now talk uh, about your social life because your future highly depends on how your social life goes. So first, you have to go outside and meet new people. Go explore the, words, uh, the, the world with your friends. A human uh, domesticates with another human. Uh, never isolate yourself in home because the friends can help you a lot with building your success castle. Uh, second, never, never hate anybody. You can avoid people that are not your type, but don't hate them um, because, uh, because uh, that, that will make your eyes blind with envy and hatred. Third, Always keep respect in the top of the list of your qualities. <clears throat> um, especially your parents, because the satisfaction of your parents is the, is the thing that will make you blessed in your whole life. Respect your teachers, your boss. Literally give respect for everybody you meet. Not just respect, but also love. Only God knows what love can do with its power. So make sure to spread love all over your family and your friends. Because when you give, you when you give, you also receive. And love will help you a lot in building a good personality. And fourth, choose a, choose a suitable friends. Always avoid these toxic, negative people that will make you uh, drown in the sea of bad psychological state. Uh, last but not least, you have to know that there is nothing important uh, than yourself. You have to be always optimistic, gain self-confidence and always believe uh, that you can, because nobody can. Try to find welfare in bad things, because everything is like a coin. It, uh, it has two faces, dark and the dark one and the bright one. Be honest with yourself. If you find yourself, um, if you find your goal is a stand, is a stand still, you have to talk with yourself. And when you understand the situation, challenge yourself and push yourself toward success. And now the most important part, take care of yourself. 
eat well uh, well with healthy meals uh, make sports keep your condition in its perfect way brush your teeth and take care of your style of your style and smell because that will open for you more doors towards success and also you can go out to nature because nature is the best cure for any um, any uh, disease Now let's take some quotes. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Of course, if you don't believe that your dream is nice and you don't believe in yourself, then you don't think that you'll achieve this dream. Second, success isn't overnight, it takes, it takes years. Don't think that you'll, uh, you'll, get your, you'll achieve your goal by a glimpse of eye because it will take you, as I said before, a long path. Third, the future depends on what you do today. Um, because, uh, of course, it depends on the situation of you today, how you treat yourself, how you think the future, uh, you'll get the result in the future, or a bright future or a dark one. And last but not least, maybe we can ask some questions. Um, what's your goal? Describe your social life. And do you believe that you'll achieve your goal? If anyone could answer, that would be great. Thank you so much for listening. I'm speechless. <laughs> I cannot expect anything else from your side, Mohammed. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yes, I believe I will achieve my goals. Why? Because I always put love and patient in everything I do. I work hard and ever if I fall, I will get up and will start again. I will never give up till my dream is uh, not coming true. Yes, this is me. <laughs> Someone else who want to reply? To can I? Person? Please? Can I? Mm -hmm. I Hello. Who is there? Yes. Can I answer right now? Someone, uh, uh, can I? Please, madam. Yes. Uh, uh, hello, teachers and friends. Uh, I am Maram Mansour from Abbasi Office. Riva, you are next, yes? Uh, today I'm going to talk uh, about uh, the steps uh, and the tips toward uh, a successful future. As known, our life is a wide uh, school, uh, uh, is a wide school of experiences that shows us with glittering lessons that can help us to pass through myriad obstacles. And we, and we as, you, as a youth generation like to uh -huh. the future, the future and draw the great successful uh, future filled with what we like and love. Building a successful future is a long journey that adds flavor and beauty to our life. So what are the tips that can help us to create a brighter future? First, let's start with making some specific goals. This means that each person must put in his mind a set of goals and put a plan in order to achieve his dreams. And next, invest yourself. Each person must educate and train for his future with a good depth. As education is the weapon that can help us to face up the hardships that we may face in our life. And staying, uh, staying healthy. Every person must take care of his health as it's the backbone of a successful future uh, on its different sides, from physical, mental, uh, especially, especially if this person is surrounded with like-minded people that will guide him as he become mindful for his health. And do not be pressured by friends. Every person must be satisfied with what he has and, and never try to get things that he cannot afford to and finally use the power of relationships 
Every person must choose a like-minded partner and form with him a team as he becomes the shoulder that he lean on. And by collaboration, all the doors of success open as it's the key for every pleasant moment in one uh, in a person's future. As I say, every person has his own way in which he can draw and paint his future by different magical tips so uh so we always think about creating a better life and a brighter future because because time is limited and life uh, gives only one chance thank you wonderful madam what to say i believe i also believe in teamwork i also believe that uh, together we are stronger uh, than uh, if we work uh, just individual um wonderful advices wonderful words thank you very much who was next uh, riva yes are you ready riva she it's it's left um okay Can I Rana. Understand? yes please cool Rana? No? Sara, please? Yes. Yes, teacher, I'm uh, bringing the document. Okay. Okay, she will present uh, before please, me. Please, please, Sara. Okay. Me? Now? Sara, yes, please. Okay, I will share my screen. The time it's enticing. Okay. Sorry, but I don't know what's happening. Maybe internet okay, connection. No. It's no. Okay, so I will talk only. Okay. I don't know what okay. Uh first hello, I'm Sarah from Lebanon. So today um, I'm going to talk about a successful future. So let's begin with uh, what is the meaning of success? Success is the opposite of uh, failure. Uh, is the status of having achieved and uh, accomplished an aim or objective. Being successful means the achievement of measured visions and the planned goals. Uh, in order to have a successful future, you have to plan, get tired, and stay up late. And you have to do all your best. It's not easy to get impressive results. So stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. Don't forget to trust yourself. Be confident. You can do it. Every morning, you have two choices. Continue sleeping with your dreams or wake up and work hard. I will give you also some thoughts. Uh, your free, your uh, first the future is created by what you what you do today, not tomorrow. Uh, if you want something you never had, so you have to do something you've never done. Mm -hmm. and, and next point I will talk about plan for your goal. It's a um, so necessary a point. Plan for a plan for your goal. A goal without a plan is uh, it's just a wish. Planning facilitates your steps. Currently, you have a role model in your life. This person who uh, set an example to uh, Cora may play an important role in influencing your steps positively. Regardless of well, whatever this person is a singer, scientist, or even someone you know personally. Or you can even read about him and how he started his career. Uh, and I'm sure you will uh, be affected and you will uh, learn from his from his mistakes. Uh, and uh, perhaps you will do the same positive things that uh, affected him as well. My advice is to take an example. No, uh, take a role model. Uh, I'm sure that you... you 
he, uh, he will or her affect on you positively, I'm sure. Create your future. Take steps that lead to, access, uh, to a successful career by being informed and in, uh, in, uh, innovate. No, no, innovative. Uh, also, um, education. These days, education has become an important factor for building a successful future. Le uh, learning is a key factor for uh, traveling and uh, securing a job easily and receiving a salary every month, uh, regardless of the um, uneducated person. He does not know if he will get the money in the next month or not, unlike the educated person who guarantees, guarantees his money and even uh, knowing something and just knowing them uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't know sorry um, I want to talk I want to talk about something now uh, uh, and as one of artists uh, of the artist said well, I consider um, him my role model he said that you can't stop me I'll do whatever I want I'll uh, I live for once and I will not regret. So uh, I, you have to trust yourself, be confident, you can do it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So be confident all the time. A good points you raised. And uh, never regret what you do. Even you, uh, you, uh, you file, never regret because you have to to learn from uh, your mistakes and another point i will uh, give you advice never do things for others to prove in front of others that you are good never do things uh, in order to get money or benefits because things are not working like this do things for yourself you are the master of yourself Great, Sarah, wonderful, bravo. And I will give the floor to Rana because I pro promised her. And yeah, uh, after be... that, the, the rest of you can, can uh, we uh, uh, postpone for tomorrow? What do you think? Guys, do you no. mind? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Mm, interesting. How to write a research paper. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, my name is Rana Zeddin. I'm from Lebanon, from Shur Public High School. Today I'll present how to write a research paper. First, first of all, we will know what is research. Research is a creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock knowledge. Uh, it involves the collection, organization, and analysis of information to increase understanding of topic or issue. A, a research project may be an expansion on past work in the field. Sometimes the most difficult part of writing a research paper is just getting it started. Contained in the packet, uh, you will uh, find the list of steps that will aid you to the research paper writing process. You may develop your own ste uh, steps uh, or producers as you progress in your writing career. These steps are just to help you to begin. First step is understand the assignment and set a schedule. First uh, of all, one of the biggest problem involves uh, students have one beginning a research paper in that they didn't understand the assignment. Uh, make sure that if you have any question, you ask the professor or the student or come into the writing center. Some specific details you should uh, know how long the paper has uh, to 
pages, number of words, uh, of words, the type of station preferred by the professor, number and types of resources that, uh, that are allowed, websites, books, uh, articles, whether specific aspects of the paper have different due dates or it's due full of a specific date. Set a schedule according to the due dates and how long it will uh, it will take to be complete each task, like day by day or week by week. Second step: choose a topic and question. Once you have um, once you have figured of what assignment is about, it's the time to choose a specific topic or a question in research. Some things to consider when choosing a topic is that uh, is, is this topic appropriate? You may want to have a professor to approve it. Narrow the focus uh, of your paper. Try to make it specific as possible. Choose uh, a topic that not only interests you, but uh, that will uh, interest the readers while reading it. You may want to choose a question that your paper will answer. The way when you are uh, researching, you are looking for uh, something specific. The answer that you find this question may uh, become the thesis statement. Step number three, start researching. After you have decided the direction you want to take uh, by the paper, it will now the time to begin researching the topic. Note, just because you have chosen a topic and a question does not mean you have to stick with the one for uh, for the rest of the paper. If you can, but make sure that your paper answers the new question, not the old one. Some things to to keep in mind while researching. Make, uh, make sure your uh, your wide variety of resources like internet, books, journals, video, interviews, etc. Uh, allow yourself enough time to research. Uh, this will be not the uh, most intensive part of the paper. Keep uh, records uh, and the copies of all information you obtain. Get all uh, uh, bibliographical graphical information while you are researching so you do not have to go back make sure you also uh, you also a uh, note uh, for where you found the information in case you have to review it later such information includes title of uh, the article book date it was published of copy uh, copy written authors and publishing uh, company pages used Try to put information into your own words. This will help to uh, preserve the information in your own words while you are taking notes to avoid like uh, to avoid the plagiarism later. If you do not take the codes directly from the source, make sure you uh, you make a note of that. Step number four. Construct an outline. Once you have collected of the research, it may be helpful to organize your thoughts uh, with an outline. To construct an outline, you must group notes together and much information that fits together online should be formed in what, like this manners. Uh, introduction, thesis statement, main uh, heading idea of paragraph one with three supporting details. Uh, third, main heading idea of paragraph two, also with three supporting details. Main heading idea of paragraph three, also supporting details three. Uh, the fifth conclusion. Step five, write a draft. Now that you have organized your research material, the next step you uh, will be writing the first draft. Keep in mind that you will multiple drafts so do not have excess pressure on the first one some things to keep in mind uh, when writing a draft are try to write your own voice don't just spit out research information add your own 
conclusion and thoughts. Remember to cite your when you are using them, even if in, in a draft. Try to keep your information organized as possible. That will help the reader understand what you are trying to say. Once you have read, uh, written a, uh, a draft, prefer to have a peer respond to it to bring uh, to the writing center to have a tutor help with the, uh, to help you with it. Last but not least, type final paper. After you have revised the intentional, uh, the intentional draft, uh, you should compose a final draft. This draft should, uh, should have very few errors, have a clear organization, and can be formatted correctly uh, before you uh, you hand in your uh, before you hand your paper in your hand, you should make sure you have the following elements: a cover page stating the course information and the title of paper and your name is the most important. The final revised copy of your paper with any formatting necessary footnotes uh, like footnotes, uh, page numbers etc. A work cited page listing the uh, paleogeographical uh, information for each source, uh, for each your sources. Thank you. It's uh, impressive, really, very impressive. And I believe uh, uh, through your presentation, hello. many... Hello. Can I ask right now? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Rua. Today I'll talk about something uh, from the most important topic, which is successful future. And I'll talk about some advices and some tips about successful future. Uh, at first, success is a concept that is different for every person. Whether it, means have, uh, whether it means having a great career, a home, or a family, success is something everyone strives to achieve. It makes you feel proud. It gives you excitement, and it lets you know you have made an impact in a competitive world. Success is not something you attain without putting an effort. However, it is a mindset you must adopt to accomplish your goals and grow as a person and it takes hard work. In this article, we explain what it can mean to be successful and discuss tips to help you in your personal journey for success. But before you define success for yourself, you should make a list of what success looks like by you and your family. Then follow that up with actionable steps you can take to achieve that success. For example, if your success is having a high paying career, then potential steps would be to further your education or professional training. Or if you see success is an talent like writing, then potential steps might include implementing daily or weekly, writing your goals to nurture it. There is no right or wrong way to be successful, but there are steps you can take to become more successful, and it's based on your own definition of the goal. Here's a list of, of tips to help you to become successful in your future. The first one is to be committed. Second, Think positively. Third, change your perspective. Fourth, be honest with yourself. Five, count on yourself. Six, keep planning. Seven, don't let your comfort zone hold you back. Eight, learn to be productive. Nine, remain focused. Ten, make self-care priority. So my dear friends, success comes in many forms, but getting there requires certain behavioral changes. Luckily, these are all changes that can be made almost immediately and with a little of planning success will come. So finally, everything you do today is a result of your personality, your motivation and your habits. Then it follows that if you adopt a certain of habits in life, go my friend, success starts with you from today to the future. You can make yourself be successful and believe in yourself.
Thank you. Wonderful points. Um, I totally agree with you. Success is different from person to person. Yes. Yes. Very good point. Uh, guys, you. will you mind if we continue tomorrow? Because uh, you can uh, access the same topics which you want to access today. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Ivan, what do you think? Will you be with us tomorrow? Okay. Everybody okay. will. Nobody will miss this, I guess. I hope so, really. I hope I so. It's interesting, yeah. It is, no? Totally agree with you, Jetro. Wonderful. Um, what to say? I'm impressed. Very impressed. And uh, I feel proud and blessed that God gave me uh, such of opportunity to meet you all. Really. Yeah. I say this from the bottom of my heart. Believe me. Congratulations to all of you. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow the same time the same platform the same friends around us and i are you let's meet tomorrow and have a good good time from now night evening or a good day love you all see you tomorrow you. oh my god it's so late now it's so late <laughs> oh, god. i believe this <laughs> he can open his eyes <laughs> it's 10 p.m. right now. Oh God! And I you may go to one. bed, Jetro. <laughs> yeah, okay, oh, uh, Laura, you can uh, stop recording. Thank you.